What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the top five easiest characters to learn in Street Fighter 6. Take it one step at a time. Also, as we get in there, my dudes, if you enjoy Street Fighter content, make sure and subscribe here for more because we have new videos Monday and Friday. Now, the two main things to consider when it comes to easy to learn versus hard to learn are two main factors. And first being how difficult is it to understand their game plan and understand the character as a whole when it comes to like moveset and special and how difficult is it to execute that game plan? As you might know, Street Fighter 6 has a very diverse cast of characters with different fighting styles. Some are quick and hit fast. Some stay back and throw fireballs and such. Some set traps and create certain situations for their opponent to guess correctly or not. So getting into this list, we have a lot of things that are pros and cons to picking an easy character. The pro is that you can just pick them, learn them pretty quick so that you can get into learning more of the system, get in more depth of the character. The con though is that because they're easy to learn, your opponents will generally have an idea of what to expect when they're fighting against you. First on our list is Luke. Yes, Luke, as we all know since day one beta, Luke is a very easy to understand character with an easy to understand move set. He's got no game mix he's got pretty easy setup easy to learn combos including assist combos he's just a really good all-around character he's got a good anti-air he's got fireballs for projectiles he's got punches that wall bounce letting you do more damage he's a great choice if you want to focus on the fundamentals of the game again no gimmicks he's pretty honest character mid ranger they can get up close next we have ryu a staple character in street fighter 6 he's basic enough to understand the moves so again no gimmicks aside from denji which even then it's pretty easy to understand what that does powers up your fireballs and Pretty easy to perform combos. Another all the rounder and great pick for a first timer to again understand the mechanics of the game. He's got good fireballs, a good anti air, great specials. He's got the Denji to power himself up. He's got good pokes. He's just a great character that excels at teaching you how fighting games work. Their fundamentals like footsies and punishing jump ins. At first, Zangief might not seem easy to understand, but he really is because his one game plan is get in there and grab your opponent. He just got really good reward slash damage for his moveset. He's a bigger body that moves a bit slower but he can take more damage and do a lot more damage so he lacks in speed but he makes up for it in having that much more health keep in mind having a lot of health in fighting games means you're allowed to make mistakes or take hits without having to worry about getting too low early on in the fight he's got huge damage with a bunch of different command grabs that are honestly easy to pull off even in modern Command grabs are just great for punishing your opponents if you're really good at reading your opponent and you let's say you're fighting a ryu and they do a shuriken and you see it coming just block it punish it with a command grab and you're getting easy damage off if your opponent wants to zone you out with fireballs, Zangief can just spin through them. He can parry them. He can drive impact through them. He's got great ways to just get in his opponent's face and absolutely destroy them. His game plan is just very easy to understand, even for newcomers. Same kind of concept going on to Marissa with easy to pull off combos and even grabs for great damage. She's got great armored moves as well to overwhelm your opponent, going through their drive impact and more. Again, to reiterate, a lot of Marissa's moves have armor allowing you to go through even one or two hits of your opponents. A great Great counterplay to drive impact if your opponent tends to do that a lot. In addition to that, she's got a lot of her moves that move her forward, so her game plan is pretty simple. Move forward, put your opponent in that corner, and go absolutely AWOL. She's got great mix-up game that's pretty easy to understand. Her hardest thing to really get down is maybe her counter stance, but that's where her mix-ups come to play, so you'll get it down pretty fast. Merce is a great character to pick up and just have some fun with. You're going to hear from a lot of people that Dalsim is actually super hard. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Dalsim is easy to master, but I will tell you that he's easy to understand. He's easy to pick up and learn because he's the easiest zoner to understand with great pokes, far pokes, a ton of projectiles, fun to use teleports, and even a levitate to really frustrate your opponent. Though he's got a great game plan to get in there with the teleport, he's also got a good game plan to stay back and just attack from afar using fireballs and good pokes. He can cover almost any angle of the field with his levitate, with his back heavy. He's got great long distance slides to get in your opponent's face pretty easily. You can jump and teleport and then air attack your opponent for a good aggressive game. Great teleports for cross-ups, good drive impacts, great supers. Like any character that's easy to understand doesn't mean they're easy to master. And Dalsim is one of those characters. We can pick up and learn him and go, okay, this is how he plays. This is his game plan, but you got a long road ahead. You had to master it, but that road is way worth it. Let me know down below what characters in Street Fighter 6 do you think are easy to learn, easy to pick up? Who is your main? Let me know down below. On this fighting game journey of yours, make sure and take it one step at a time and I will see you in the next one.